Hi, welcome in. This is Alfonso Parodi with Team Parodi at Realty Associates, and I'm here at the Highland Homes in the Mall 245 with Walter Drone. And today, Walter is going to give us a little tour of your home. Hey, welcome. Welcome to Highland. Uh, this is a 245 plan. It's about 3,600 square feet. Have a wonderful formal dining room right behind us, and uh, we've decorated this very bold in black and white. Uh, a lot of people just love that. It's very modern style, very transitional. Yeah, look. take a look at it. So this house has a lot of, um, uh, which, which part of the room come with the house and what are add-ons? This is a model home. Basically everything in here except for the floor and the paint is standard. So wow. It, as far as this particular room. The shutters are going to be something that would be added after okay. as well. So shutters, okay. shutters are not standard, excuse me on that. But um, it's, a, it's a very nice home. We've had a very good luck with it. Um, we've got a study on the other side. It's a very traditional when you come in with oh, the dining room. How high are the ceilings? Because I, it, there's another lining over here. In the dining room, they're 11 feet. 11 feet, wow. And then you have the two-story in the family. We get in there, we'll see that. Uh, very open, we've got the uh, wrought iron railing. Uh, look over wrought iron railing into the family as well. we'll that's a standard, right? Well, the wood uh, balancers are standard, and we're seeing more and more people take the wood because I guess that's more of a transitional or modern look as well. But we can do all different kinds. We even now have some wrought iron. We just put one of our specs that have the square and come in. Nice. So, and then we've got some that run instead of up and down, they actually run horizontal. So well, a lot I, of different options. What I find like. more about what I like, one of the things I like most about Highland Homes is pretty much like buying a custom home, where you can actually make the house to your needs. And uh, want to show us inside here? And, and that's exactly right. When you build with us, you actually go meet. Uh, with Jessica, she's a professional interior designer. She got a degree from Purdue, and we have a 40,000 square foot showroom. And you get to customize all your own colors, your own selections, uh, your wrought iron or balusters, whatever thing you want to do. That different fireplace designs, different cabinets, different granites, solid stones, everything from A to Z uh, on the home. You're you gonna get be to excited. Do it. I'm ready to so go. We can do it. And another nice thing is when you purchase a home with Highland, you will be working directly with the owners because each employee is part owner so they will treat you like any owner will treat their clients yeah, it's, it's been fun i was actually the first salesman hired by is that Hyman right from houston when they came here wow uh, 12, how many years 12 years ago back in wow. 2005 so. walter walter is a pro we'll take care of you when you come to harper's preserve everybody calls me a rookie but that's okay a rookie <laughs> <laughs> now, this is a, this is a study we've done some optional built-ins in here uh, and again, we've Pretty gone nice. bold with this. Our designers, IBB, have been doing all of our interior design work now for over 30 years. I think about oh, 31 nice years they've been doing it. So they're starting to get the hang of the design. Uh, and we've been in the last few years very bold designs with colors and things to make people think and see what can be accomplished in a model. Are the French doors the standard? They are. They are. When we do a study in, in this series, we would have French doors on it. Look how huge those windows are, too. Jean Ann, uh, our founder, is famous right. for her large windows. Yes. So she's always been known for putting a little more, a little extra in a house. Bigger windows, more natural lights. Fantastic way of designing a house. You know, when you, when you purchase a Highland home, you find that they put a lot of love in it. Just from the start, just from the time that they greet you. Uh, not only as a client, also I experience it myself as a realtor, that we've been selling uh, Highland homes and changing lives. And clients are always happy and they usually buy another Highland home when they want to upgrade. Uh, actually, I'm going to be closing one uh, this month and it's her third Highland home. Third Highland home. I sold her first one in the first section a few years ago. Uh, they do a lot of business in Dallas and realized how nice it was to have a home there instead of staying in a hotel room because they would go up for a week at a time. Um, husband's disabled so we made some modifications and she found that changed her life so much in the home that we built for here that she built one up in Dallas for when they stay up there just for wow. the one week a month. And then we open the new section of Harper's. It's such a phenomenal difference uh, with the walking trails. Yes, I saw that when I was coming, the lake and the trees and, and so, kind of mature uh, trees already. They so. are. So she wanted to move over to this side. So we're building her third home for her. Wow, what and a story. she'll be closing on that this month. So. Go, show us around. Went into the family room. Nice, large family room. You'll notice that, that we have uh, galleyways over here. We've got, this is built as a, a little extra planning desk. That area could also be a butler's pantry. I'm from South Louisiana, so I like to do it as a wet bar. Maybe right. some wine boxes up there, but some flexibility on how you do this as well. Right. 
Right, that's the nice part about working with Highland Homes. You have the flexibility to make your last, your your custom, you know, touches. Everybody really loves the tall ceilings. I was here. just going to say <laughs> that. Look how tall are the ceilings. Look, imagine yourself at night, at night how beautiful we look with this lighting. Uh, look at those windows. Wow. Right, and we put an outdoor fireplace on this. People fall in love with that. Uh, it's a nice, cozy place to go out and have a warm fire in the, in the winter time, or it just adds a nice view to it. We also do outdoor kitchens. Uh, this indoor kitchen, everybody, or I say everybody, 95% of the people come in want an open concept. Everything happens from the kitchen. You have a party, oh, everybody yeah. comes to the food. Personally, and myself, I'm, I'm the one that cooks, I'm the chef. And this and is a, a very typical design for us in a kitchen with the big island, open to the family, open to a very large a breakfast area. Nice, 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 nice. And always come for gas or electric option? We actually do both. We put gas or electric so that the buyer has a choice. Right. Uh, so there's going to be 220 back there if you want it, or you can do the gas. Either one. Hi, I see a map over here. Can you tell us more about exactly where we at, where you're building? Right. We are, we're right up here in the model. Uh, this is 242 and then 45 is 1.7 miles uh, back to the west of us. So we now have a stop and go light up here, CVS on the corner. We've got a new brand new elementary school uh, that they're just putting the Harper School Road in for. Nice. That will open in 2019. People are really excited about There's that. There's going to be some most likely to do it this oh, area. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. With elementary, be able to walk to school. Good thing about the elementary school, everybody wants that, so that is actually going to pull values up, and you know everybody's excited Always. about that for their investment of having the uh, elementary school right in the neighborhood. The middle school is only a mile down the road; it's just right over here right on over 242. There. Nice. So nice. And the elementary school that they currently go to school in, uh, the principal just closed our house here in Harper's Preserve. Nice. So, a lot of teachers, a lot of principals, uh, just a great place to be. If you look down at the smaller part, this was the initial West Village. I actually sold most of the homes over in that village and we ran out of lots. We bought lots from our competition, still ran out of lots before everybody wow. else. So I left and went back and closed out the large master plan community. Your woods line down in here, this is a, a dedicated preserve of about 160 acres. From this side to this side runs about 1.1 miles. Again, we are live so we might have some guests coming to come in to see the house. So thank you for tuning in with us. Um, Let's go outside. Let's go outside and check out the, pa the parking park. Absolutely. This gives you an idea of kind of what you can do in here. Nice cozy. This is an body. option or this is an extension. This is a standard and two from, uh, from about where the fireplace starts out is an option okay but so all of this is standard and unless you're just really needing bigger and bigger so the standard is right a very standard. large yeah actually a little bit further back than that even so um the standard is very nice this is about 50 50 on this house people pick the, and, um, the option on it if i'm mistaken the house is pretty much 99 percent brick it is it is you have a little hardy plank when you add like the media room option right because we're adding that sidewall you'll have a little bit of hardy plank there right but basically four sides brick on the first floor and just a little bit of hardy for an accent wow uh, and they do that for weight issues as well let's take a look at it what? we do sprinkler systems around the whole yard front and back that's a standard standard put wow. in put in great drainage that's probably one of one of the only builders I actually heard about doing that. It's very important. It protects your foundation. Oh, we're in Texas. Right. If you, if you don't do protect your foundation, you really don't have anything. And we have a fantastic foundation. We actually use 3,000 PSI concrete, where most builders are 22 to 2,500. Wow. And the other thing that we do, I think that's really huge, that people assume everybody does, and you can't find other production builders that do this, is we pre-treat for termites underneath the foundation. Right. right. So it's a, a not, foundation deal. issues come from new homes. Right, and it come up in the penetration points, right. and we pre-treat all right. that. But that's not building code in Texas. Right, right, and pe right. People come and they assume it is because it's building code everywhere else. Right. Highland does it because it's a Highland standard. And if you'll look at what we do through the whole thing, we're not really trying to build a minimum code house. We're building a Highland house. And there's a huge difference there in what you get. Yeah, when you um, at Team Parodi, we have worked uh, very close with Highland Homes and, you know, buying, buying a Highland Home is not just buying a house, it's a Highland experience. Like I say, if you're talking directly to the owner and their standards are beyond high. 
uh, not only for what they offer, also for the agents and or partners that they work with. Um, take a look at this elevation, the elevation in the back. You know, that's something I've told people for years, Alfonso, is that I can drive through our neighborhood and I can identify the Highland homes from the back side of it because was, there's more architecture in the I back. I was just, that's exactly what I wanted to point out. So we're yeah. prettier even from the back of the house. It's extremely original, very custom oriented. Look at those large windows. It's just beautiful. Look at all at all those windows, and that's the master bedroom. Uh, let's go and check out the master bedroom. You know, one of the other things we were talking about standards and things that we do that other builders don't is we actually use train air conditioners. They're more expensive than other air conditioners, but you're moving to the most air conditioned city in the entire world. You're not kidding. More times than anywhere else. So why not put a little extra money and have the best on it? Uh, the the st two stories come with two units, one unit. They're all going to be zoned, and it's going to depend on. They do what's called a manual J calculation, okay. where a train calculates what's the most efficient way and best way to cool the house. Right. One of the things that I found interesting that we've just changed in uh, last year was that everybody's home has gotten more energy efficient, and we've gotten so much better windows and ACs and everything that it cools down the house so fast that they had moisture issues. So huh. what a lot of builders have done to, to do that, because they don't want to get sued for moisture issues, is they keep downsizing their ACs. Huh. All right. Well, that's great in the wintertime. They get rid of the moisture issue. But in June, July, and August, they don't have enough AC to get the house cooled. Right. Highland has taken a huge step in that. Tell and us about it. In addition to the train AC, we're actually doing dehumidifiers in front of the AC so that we don't have to downsize the AC. We can get the moisture out in the wintertime make the house more comfortable and healthy in the summertime, and, and, but actually cool it down. And that shows how it's, it's like an equipment that shows, or it's built in? It's built in. It goes in front of the AC unit. It's a big dehumidifier hmm. that's installed in there that pulls the humidity out so the air conditioner can condition it. So it's extremely energy efficient, but more importantly, you don't have moisture issues and you can be cool enough in the summertime. You don't sweat. That's something actually is so. just new. You know, it's it's huge. Yes. It's just huge on that. It makes totally sense. Well, you know, more in Texas. building code in Texas says that a builder or any home only has to cool 17 degrees differential right. from right. outside to inside. Exactly. The, my father was a math teacher and he taught me 100 minus 17 is still too hot on the inside for most people. Highland didn't want you to have an 80 degree summer inside your house. So putting the dehumidifier allows us to give us a bigger differential and get the temperatures down in our house but also get the moisture out and wow. have a better healthier house much better. We use the big four inch media filters so right. the air coming to the house is actually filtered through an air intake before it comes into the house. It's just a fantastic system. Wow, so many upgrades. It's, it's pretty much well, a awesome home. That's just standard. We do that on it's every standard. house we build. Wow. They, they do wow. that across the board on every house. How many build. houses you have left here? Uh, I've got about 31 opportunities left. 31 in this opportunities? We got new lots in November, and I'm down to, I think, 19 and 12. So about 31 different opportunities. Wow, not too many left fantastic. because more than a thousand people are moving to Texas, no, not Houston, but generally speaking, we have a lot of, um, I believe so, they're building a medical center. They're opening actually two new hospitals. Two uh, new hospitals. Within two miles of Within us. two miles from here. Between those two hospitals and the other hospitals that are already right there, there's gonna be about a group of about four or five of them, there are over 2,000 new jobs coming to this community in this area. 2,000 within the next, jobs. Within the summer to the end of the year. So Looks that's a lot relaxing, of new jobs. Just enjoying the master bedroom feels amazing. It does. How high are these ceilings? Uh, these are going to jump up to about 16 feet. I was going to say, there's no way 11 feet or 12 feet or 14 feet. No, it's, it, they're, they're sloped up. This room also has a five foot extension on it. When you do right. that, you get these extra two windows. And that's a standard or that's, that's a, a That's an optional. Cause that's an option? It, one of the reasons we do some different options on length of a patio or length of a bedroom, in Harper's we're blessed with very deep lots. You have right. a very good lot that you can put it in. Uh, in some communities, you have shorter lots. Right, depending and there on the permits. Be, wouldn't be room to put it in there and right. then have room for a pool. Right. Something else Harper's does that the developer spent more money to develop was he put all the utilities in the front of the house. Ah, so there is so no the utility easement. There's none? No utility easement in the back of 99% uh, of the lots. Are you serious? So you can take your pool all the way to the fence line. Huh. Right, so the whole thing is usable. And you don't That's lose that That's actually probably the only subdivision that I'm aware about that. 
common in Dallas, not common in Houston. It costs no, more no. to develop it that way no, actually, because you can't share the utilities between two streets. Actually, if you have nobody in the back, it's usually 14 feet. Uh, a standard is seven feet if you have a neighbor in the back. Exactly. Yeah. And that's huge when you want to put a pool in. Oh, absolutely. But what they wanted to do is create a higher end community, a community where you would have a lot of pools. We have neighborhood pools as well. Yeah. But, but a lot of people want their own pool and room. Not only last one year. My so, own experience. Deeper lots you and you can safe. use the you whole put your lot. Own pool. <laughs> absolutely. Let's go to the fun part, the bathroom. Yeah, this bathroom you could definitely get clean in. So, this wow. Is beautiful bathroom. This one has a uh, has Carrera marble in it, which is just gorgeous. It, that's not Carrera our standard. Marble? Yeah, that's not our standard, but it, it does make for a gorgeous bathroom. And it's got the, the big walk-in shower with the recessed mud pan. And if you'll notice in our in our bathrooms, one of the things where I think Highland has always excelled is we don't cut corners where people need things. Extra storage, extra drawers. If you look at the number of drawers in our master bathrooms, standard. Uh, standard. I wow. challenge you to find that in any other building. I am. That's, a, that's an easy way that builders save money and reduce their costs that people don't notice until they don't have anywhere to put their stuff. Right. Right, and then everything looks messy. Everything so looks messy. this particular one, there's seven drawers. I've got one, I counted 13 wow. drawers in the other day. Just a fantastic thing to have in there. Little things that you don't think about or actually well, decide. Well, I, I do think about. about it. That's what I wanted to point out if, if it was a standard or not, because you're right, most builders don't do it. At all. Oh. At all. You have extra space here. So, uh, master engineering on designing the house, I would say. Now, and something I nice. wanted to point out, too, in the closet. Right now, we're running a Mother's Day promotion where you get an alpha customized closet for Mother's Day. But this is something, too. And, again, it's the little things that people get excited about. But if you could show over here this extra storage. The timeout room. Well, great place for shoes, great place for suitcases. Think if you travel a lot, you can Look put your suitcases in there, and then you don't have to go climb them down out of the attic. They're right there by your clothes where you need it's them. It's around probably six feet. Right. Again, it's under the stairs. Yes. Most builders would have sheetrocked over it and wasted right. the space. Right. But that's huge to have some extra space in there. You can do all kinds of things and they even with extra frame. storage. Yeah. You know? Most opening. But it's a different look and a different oh, feel. Oh, I can tell. That they're, that that's they're what I'm noticing it. right away. So, a lot of architectural details. And that's what Highline's known for. So, take a look at this huge shower. How big is it? Um, you know, Ray, to just enjoy and relax. Right, and you've got the window that natural light in. Yes. Now, this shower, that uh, control is perfect, but you'll notice in a lot of our big walk-in showers, the, the handle won't be underneath your shower head. We'll put it by the door so that you can turn it on without getting wet. Without getting wet. So, and that's a little detail people get real excited about. Yep. Being there, you get your head wet more if you are bathing your kids. This is beautiful. High ceiling stool to be a bathroom. A lot of lighting. This is incredible. This is one of the favorite parts that I would say if I will be a buyer or if I show in this house is the windows. To die for it. Look how tall are those windows, all the natural lighting that you have. And again, that goes back to our founder, Jean Ann. She's I famous she's, for the big windows and natural lighting. She's light. incredible. So, more so windows than any other. The house building. is wired. My, it will be what pre wired? It can be pre-wired for it. In a model, we do it just to play music as people okay. are walking through. So they have but the option to pre-wire it. We can it. automate the whole house if they want it. I had my last model ran off an iPad. Got it. So we can do whatever they want to do on that. Let's go and check it out upstairs. Sounds good to me. You'll notice on this particular stairs, we've gone to the wood treads instead of the, the carpet. So this is always going to look nice going up here. Gives you a good look. Final ones. Don't forget to like us at facebook.com slash Team Parodi. Again, more windows at the top of the stairs, letting more natural light in, bringing that in. Now, this particular home is built as a four bedroom. If you wanted five bedrooms and another bathroom, they actually will put a door here, and this area becomes a bedroom and full bath, so you have another nice. ensuite bathroom there. This we've used as just a decorating space. I've built this home a number of times. This can be Again, a wet bar, because right. you're right here by the game room and the media room. It can be another planning desk or study desk for the kids. 
whatever you want it to be. So this is basically the game room? This is the game room. Now something, game room. something too that I like to talk about that I think makes a big statement on who Highland is and how we build a house. Every single one of our game rooms, whether we're talking a $180,000 house or a $2 million Huntington house, has an engineered flooring system capable of supporting a one inch thick slate top pool table, a competition pool table. Right. That pool table would void your warranty, bow your ceiling, you wouldn't want to walk in it in most builders. Wow. And we built every one of our game rooms to hold it. Overbuild it and you don't have to worry about it. Sounds good to me, you don't have to worry about it. Buy a Highland home today. So. Again, you've got the overlook into the family, another overlook into the hall, and then your kids or husbands will fall in love with this area over here. The media room, great place for playing games, watching movies, watching the game, anything you want to do. We put the dark paint in here. This is what I'm talking about. All the ambient light out so when you're watching movies. How big is this room? This one I think is about 17 by 19. Yeah, it's huge. So nice big, nice big media room. We've got the columns on the wall, the sconces, so that you can dim it if you want a little bit of romance. Right. Whatever you want to do. Now Alfonso, what I think for you, for your media room, you need one of the brand new 100 inch LEDs behind the screen and then a power screen come down so you can watch the game on the LED and then you'd have movie night and romance when you push the button and let your screen come down and use the projector. If you put both in there you'll actually use the room more. Huh. That's a good idea. Something else that we've seen trended too is that most husbands are all the same. Right? Really? They want to be close to their wife and the food. Not always in that order but they want to be close, right? They want to be close. <laughs> So what we've started doing a few years ago is putting media rooms on the first floor. Right. I've got a lot of one-story plans where we have media and entertainment rooms on the very first floor where you're close to the kitchen, you're close to the family. If the kids are young and they're watching, you can still have the life going on and the kids are right there and they're not running up and down the stairs. That has gotten to be extremely popular in media Absolutely. rooms. Absolutely. Absolutely. it's a fantastic thing to do. And you, you have, so you have those available here at Harper's Preserve? We do. I probably have over 10 plans like that. 10 plans like that, one story? So what you heard today is that you have a lot of selection, a lot of plans. Today we are touring the 245 model, 3,600 square foot, four bedroom home with the option to build a fifth bedroom home, a fifth bedroom, and an extra bathroom. Is that mistaken? Correct. That's correct. And it has three and a half bathrooms. Uh, it has three standard, three standard, and then and then the, you could add the fourth bedroom. So it could be five bedrooms, okay. four bathrooms. Okay. If you okay. So it's three full bathrooms. Correct. Yeah. Three full. So and then you've got the study area here for the kids. Parents, no, this was the, the area is standard, right. but not everybody has young kids that want to That's study. That's right. That's if, right. If the kids are already in high school, you're not changing their habits. Right. But if you can catch them young and teach them to focus yeah. on their homework right here, you've taught them an important lesson. So you have the option really to have this open or built, whatever you want. Yeah, we we'll do a reading nook or we we'll put bookcases here right. a lot or just leave it wide open. So right. your choice on that. In our bathrooms, our secondary bathrooms, a lot of times we'll have two sinks and a separate door going to the shower, so if somebody needs to brush your teeth while somebody else is taking a shower, you don't have a problem with that. So it makes the bathroom even more functional. So we have the master bathroom, this will be the second full bathroom, and then there's an extra full bathroom downstairs. Another full bathroom, because we, most of our, again, our two-story plans will have two bedrooms downstairs. Right. So you're going to have two full baths to accommodate. If you've got parents, right. You know, people that, that don't want to or can't climb the stairs, they've got a bedroom downstairs. Well, that's do. so nice. Yes. So nice. Yeah, the stairs so. kill them. Very, very important <laughs> for resale. Too. Yes. Now, but this model, this model does have one bathroom down. Yes. Yes, and the other, we skipping one bedroom downstairs? We didn't, we didn't want, but behind the map where we were, oh, okay. there's a whole other bedroom and bathroom that you we didn't need to see. Go, so, we, but we there. these bedrooms are quite large. You can see in there that you could easily put a king-size bed in a secondary bedroom. This is a full with nightstands and what do we have three or four feet on each side. Yes. So very, very large bedrooms coming into it. High ceilings again. High ceilings, a lot of room. All of our plans will have walk-in closets. Nice closet. No high ceilings again. And again, over here, basically a, a similar size room. Actually, a little bigger with a seating area. Put the window seat in here. 
Structurally, it's the same size. Now, I sold this house to a lady who had twin daughters. They were both 12 or 13 years old. Right. And she was trying to sell them on, because the window seat's only standard in this room. Right. And one, they were both wanting the window seat. She said, well, you can have the bigger room, because it's got the space for the window seat. And so they were going back and forth. And I, and I said, Joanne, I said, why don't I just put a window seat in the other room, and they'll have identical rooms. The girls were so happy. She got happy. So you have and the option. You hear that. You know, Highland works with you in the last details, makes your house custom. Um, it's a beautiful experience. I experienced it, you know, too many times with so many clients uh, working myself or working with our buyer agents. We have seven buyer agents in house at Team Parodi. So we're looking forward to working with you and partner with Highland Homes. This is actually our preferred lender. And uh, let's go downstairs and look at the last room. Okay. Want to see the second bedroom down? Yes, yes. I want to see the. We want to see the second bedroom. I'm sure you do too. Yeah, it's it's also big enough for a king size bedroom too. Um, I sold this to a to a family, and their father was going to be living with them, and they asked me about expanding, and then he came down and looked at it, and he said, "I don't need it any bigger." He said, "This is plenty big enough for me." But we were going to look at, and actually, we we're going to make it a bigger bedroom, but it wasn't needed. Some of our new homeowners were actually building them a one-story plan. They had one of the ones uh, with an entertainment center downstairs that we're building for them. Yeah. Be right with you. Yeah. See, they're coming in to pay off some brick today, right? Yeah. Good deal. There you go. This is second bedroom down. And uh, again, you can see full-size bed, room on both sides of double nightstands. A lot of lighting. Look at those windows. Again, thanks to Jan. Well, and, and that's something you'll notice. If you, I know you look at a lot of different builders and go around right. with people. Most secondary bedrooms would have one window and it would be shorter. Right. We went to a taller window and did two. Why? The reason we can do that is we spend about eight to ten times more time, man hours, in architecture and we've still left wall space to put furniture. The room is right. big enough to have both big windows and wall space for furniture, walk-in closet, full bath right across. You know, it feels so peaceful here right now. Let's go and take a look at the bathroom. So this is a walk-in bathroom. How comfortable is that if you have guests, if you have in-laws coming, or your own parents, or family, or whoever. It's, you know, just having a walk-in straight to the bathroom. Full bathroom with a full bath right here, and easy access when you have guests too. Entertaining, they just come straight from the kitchen. You and any of your, your details. We would like to, we'd like the opportunity. If you give me a chance to, to solve the problem, we'll look for the plan. Walter, what, is your, what is your number here? Uh, my cell phone is probably the best way to reach me at 832-725-6312. Well, once again, we want to thank you. This is Alfonso Parodi with Team Parodi at Realty Associates. Don't forget to follow us at Facebook. And if you're looking to purchase a home, visit teamparodi.com. And we want to thank again our partner, Highland Homes, Walter Drone, for showing us his uh, 245 model, uh, Harper's Preserve in the Woodlands. And we're looking forward to hearing back from you soon. Thank you again for tuning in. And thank you. My pleasure.